Like this video and subscribe. And don't forget to visit allforreborns.com to adopt your reborn baby doll. All right, everybody, it is time to demold this silicone baby. So these are my two silicone babies that I've already taken out the mold. There they go there. I can't show all of them because of the new video rules. But if you want to see more, go to my Instagram page and check it out. Instagram slash all for reborns. All right, it's time to demold this baby. This is my Omari sculpt that I made out of clay over the summer and I've made many bodies to it since that time and I think it's done you guys can see the silicone in there so let's this is always the nerve-wracking part and it's also a lot of fun all right so let me make sure you guys can see good okay looks like you guys can see so this is the mother mold this is the outer shell that I made for the sculpt. You can see it fits perfectly together around my glove mold. And I've um, experimented with making many different, well, I'll say a couple different types of molds. I'm gonna need to get my X-Acto knife to make sure that I do this good, so. All right, here we go. So what I'm doing right now is, this is the seam that I allowed um, for the mold, and now I'm just opening up the seam. I had to put some uh, silicone glue there to uh, make it stick back together and hold into place, so there we go. It's coming apart fairly easily. But I do want to be careful that I don't, you know, rip it in the wrong places. There we go. That's what I found is just everything you have to just really not be in a rush. Which can be hard because, um, of course, you want to see the end result. Alright. There we go. So if you're new to my channel, which I have a lot of new people who've joined me recently, welcome. I'm Julia Crystal, aka All for Reborns, and I am a doll artist. I'm a full-time doll artist. Look at that, guys. Look at that. So this is a seam, and that's okay. I know how to get rid of it. Thanks to Carolyn Dotty, or Dar Dorothy. I don't know how to say her name right, but shout out to her. Shout out to her. Awesome. All right. Yay. I finally have a nearly perfect ear. This ear has a little bubble in it, but I can get rid of it. She taught. She's a good teacher, and she taught us how to get rid of it. Yay. The face came out good. Say hi, little baby. Say hi, Omari. You can see the little bubble on the ear. I can get rid of that. And then this one came out nearly perfect. First time in this mold. Yay, so the little baby's ready to be born. And then you can see the back. So now I gotta free these hands out of the mold. Little tiny hands. Wee little hands, as my friend Janet would say. I like when I like when she says that. So I'm gonna start copying that. It's so cute. Wee little hands. Alright. Making sure I'm going over the same seam allowance that I had before. Yep, I am. So there's you guys. So like I was saying, I'm a doll artist and I'm a full-time doll artist. I make reborn baby dolls made of vinyl. I make clay baby dolls of polymer clay. And this one is a copy of my clay sculpt. There we go. I got it open. have to be careful on the hands. I made a copy of my clay sculpt and um, copied it into silicone, which is how artists make copies of their work. So I'm going to try to be... I don't know if you guys can see that. The hands in there and I have to peel it back off of the mold. 
see that so there is mold release in there but because this is such a tiny tiny mold um, I have to be careful on these fingers there we go and I just wrote what I do is I just oh there we go it popped out so much easier than the last one yay look at that hand guys look at that that little hand look at that look at Omari's little hand all right so now that that's out I'll push that back in and then I should be able to just pull it on out there we go look at that good I, I see no bubbles so far got a little bit of a skin tag there but I can get rid of that without a problem yeah so what I've learned is that it's very rare to get a perfect um, pour and you have to know how to fix things and I practiced the way I did it was I made I made this sculpt and I messed up on it a lot and then I was like well I'm using so much silicone and so much materials let me be a little smarter about this and let me just make the head so then I just started making the head over and over and over again and that really let me perfect like my pouring and my molding and my painting and so when I felt like after about the third or fourth one I felt that was good I felt like okay I can do this now on a full baby and after this one I'll probably go on to a full size sculpt or at least a preemie because I feel like it'll be easier these little miniature babies have such tiny tiny parts that man it's it can be really challenging see that it's just on there I'm just rolling it back gently there we go this looks like a good hand here too Oops, I want to be careful. Don't want anything to pop off. Almost got you out of there, Amari. Almost got you out of there, baby girl. There we go. So here we go. We got the other little hand out. The wee little hand. So cute. Alright, so she's going to be halfway out of here. In just a second. Yep, here she goes. There she goes. She's out of there halfway. So I'll show you guys the front of her. Like that. Say hi, everybody. Hey. And this is her. If you're wondering, this is her pour spout. I'll be cutting that off and getting rid of that, too. But so far, she's really a good pour. I'm really happy, even with the seam. Like I said, I know how to deal with that. So let's... Let's put your arms in front of you, Omari. And let's get your feet out. Okay, so now I'm going to cut through the foot here. So this can kind of show you guys what silicone artists go through and, and why they cost so much, too. It I've, um, I've spent a lot of money just trying to learn this. Um, it's a big, big learning curve. And so um, that's what you're paying for when you pay for the doll. Also, silicone material and the equipment. I have to have a degasser and a vacuum pump, which that alone is quite expensive. But if you want to learn this, don't let that discourage you. You can slowly buy your things that you need for it. I don't feel like this is opening up the right way for me. I feel like it should be more this way. I guess that's all I opened this foot. It feels like I opened it more, but... Anyway, let's get this foot out of here. Hope you guys can see. what I'm doing alright I 
almost got all the toes out. Got a couple of them out. Come on, buddy. Let's get the rest of your foot out of there. Come on. There we go. There we go. I think I I think I'm good. It looks like I got all the toes good so far. Yep, I got that whole foot out. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's a little, little tiny foot there. Let's see. Ah, it's hard to open it. It's a little tiny foot. Is it going to focus? Are you going to focus, camera? There we go. Little tiny toes. All right, so I'm going to try to get this leg out. <laughs> Yo, that's easy to get out. It's coming right out. It's coming right out. Look at that little foot. God, he's look at that. He's like, bing. <laughs> bing. Or she. Bing. That's so cute. Oh, it's so perfect. That is so nice. All right, we only got one more limb to get out. And then Omari will be born. And then I'm going to paint my three kits because I'm out of silicone after this one. And I'll have to go back to the silicone store and get more. <laughs> they know me by name there because I've messed up so many times trying to make this doll. Guys, it's been crazy. When I go in there like, hi, Julia. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited to show them what I've been working on because I've told them about it. But now that I have copies, I can actually like take them in and be like, hey. And then probably also get some advice from them too. Because they're really, really knowledgeable. Alright. Turn that inside out a little bit. Just try to work it off. And I did put a lot of mold release for anybody saying, use mold release. If I didn't use mold release, this would not be coming off at all. But I think it's just because the foot is so tiny that it uh, it sticks like this. That's what I think. And it is coming off easily. It's just I don't want to jerk it. I don't want to jerk it and risk ripping the mold or the uh, toe. There we go. One more little part there we go we got your foot out your foot is uh, your foot already went down in there I can't get it so it's like I'm ready to be born just take me out of here so here's the other little foot got a little bit of the outer the, the uh, mold on it but it'll come off when I when I work on it those are the little feet those feet came out perfect this came out better than my last pour and I'll have to cover the little baby up here for the video, but there we go. That's my little Omari, guys. And I just wanted to share that with you of my little Omari being born. There we go. Cute little baby. I'm going to get it all fixed up. And that makes a total of three silicone babies. Um, the first one, I'm going to keep this one here. And then once I get these all um, painted and fixed up and everything, I'll probably be putting these up for adoption. I already have a couple people who've been really encouraging me throughout the years to make silicone babies. And I just want to thank you. And they've been ready to put down deposits on the babies before I was even done. So thank you guys for having that much faith in me. But so if you were one of those people, please contact me and we can talk about your new baby. And this is my little baby here and I'm looking forward to painting them. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around with me for this little birthing process of this silicone baby and doing the demolding. Don't they look so awesome? I'm so excited, guys. Man, I'm so excited about these babies and all the babies that I will make this year. So, see you guys in the next video. Peace and love, everybody, and be blessed. Do you want a chance to win this baby plus have amazing rewards and live chats with me? Come on over to patreon.com forward slash all four reborns.
And special thanks to these Patreons for making videos like this possible. And today's Notification Squad shout out goes to Ari Slimes. Thanks so much for being one of the first ones to comment on my last video. Hey, if you want a Notification Squad shout out, be a subscriber and click that bell and be one of the first ones to watch my next video. Hey, Aunt Mommies and Uncle Paz, thanks for watching. But don't go yet. Click on another video. And don't forget to come back tomorrow to see more of our adventures.